Hello there, Dragon Ball Infinity. I am your DBI Ed and Eichenbahn, coming to you live from the Ginyu headquarters or something. Uh, and we are going to talk about Dragon Ball Infinity Noir. Uh, so, <laughs> this is a really hard phenomena <laughs> to, to respond to. Um, and the reason is because it really started off as kind of a joke and it kind of just got so good, like so many good ideas started being thrown out almost immediately from everybody online. I actually missed, however, this came into fruition, like how this happened. Um, but my understanding is basically some joke was made about a DBI a detective agency of some kind, like this will be the greatest case we ever solved. Um, and then, and then there were some name puns that got thrown around. Uh, we're going to be talking about three characters, uh, Poutine, uh, <laughs> bangers, and masher. Uh, so it's all kind of a, it's all kind of a Toriyama food joke, like laid in there, uh, just grits and gravy and and whey and bacon and all this stuff. Uh, it's this is so good. It is such a good fun idea, and I really love. I really love it. And it doesn't have to be like. The, these aren't even the kinds of characters that, like, I would... Like, I hope they never reach T1. You know, I hope they stay in T0. And it just... It's just kind of its own thing. Um, but to even talk about it, we have to talk about the bios that these characters wrote. So I am going to read to you uh, the bios for these characters. We're going to start with uh, Masher, uh, who is Greg's character. And he is a Saiyan. Um, and you guys probably won't be able to actually, like, really read what's on the screen here, so I'm, I'm gonna read it verbatim. Mash took a long drink from the low ball of whiskey in front of him and looked to the side at his partner. Ten years. Ten goddamn years. And this is how it all ends? Try to do the right thing, and that crooked fuck, McGinley, McGinley, puts us right out of our asses. He slammed his empty glass in the oak bar. There was a soft glugging noise. The barkeep wordlessly poured him another. A few more drinks passed his lips as the hours crawled on. Mash's mood flickered between sadness and anger as he reflected on the events of the day. It was supposed to be real simple, real sweet. Fast tracked the both of us into promotion and a nice cruise down Easy Street. Ended up being a goddamn shit show that ended with the captain demanding our badges and our guns. Given as a one-way ticket to the unemployment office. All started when we raided Eriego's over on 13th in Eastern Sector 8. The investigation produced plenty of evidence that it was a front for Heidi and Mind Freak. One of the most dangerous drugs in the city right now. And the raid proved it. 300 gallons off the streets and over 12 million zenny seized. That ought to disrupt their operations. Problem was, when McGinley filed the evidence... It only came up as 294 gallons, and just over 10 million zenny seeds. Me and Bangers started digging around, dug ourselves right into a big hole. Shit. That's when it all came tumbling down. Tried to go to internal affairs, and McGinley met us in the hallway. Rushed us into his office. After a few minutes of hollering, our badges and guns were on his desk, and we were out on our asses. Yeah, real simple, real sweet, fast track. Bangers' words cut through his reflection. Yeah, still got some friends on the inside. Yeah, still got some informants in the underworld. Yeah, still got a chip on our shoulders. A few more drinks, a few more thoughts. At the bank the next day, we're signing our names. At that shitty rundown building the next week, we're hanging a sign. And at the office the next month, we get our first case. Big guy comes walking in. Yeah, we're bangers and mash, I say. <laughs> Says something about his son missing. Some kind of trouble with local dealers. Yeah, we'll take the case, I say. With rent coming due, it's not like we have any choice. So, you know, the setup is like these two, like, private detectives set up in Sector 8. You know, they're solving solving crimes for cash. They got kicked off the force because there's corruption in the ranks. You know, it's like, it's so noir. Um, but also, like, it's just, like, be, like, we're bangers and <laughs> mash. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. And uh, we'll, we'll read Bangers next. So this is uh, 
this is Kansu's character or Taco, um, and he's playing a demon, uh, which is an interesting choice. But uh, life on the force had been hard, hard on his body, hard on his mind, and hard on his relationships. But nothing had been as hard as trying to turn in the captain, one of his closest friends, his boss, and at one time his mentor. He knew he was corrupt, but Bangus had no idea that he himself would end up taking the fall along with his longtime partner, Masha, and not the captain. Bangus sipped his bourbon as he stared at the end of the embers of the fire. He'd watch slowly dwindle down to little more than a soft glow. The cigar in his mouth had gone out long time ago, and he chewed on the end. The bit of taste tickling his tongue. At least he could still feel something. As he sat there, he wondered and opened his own detective agency with his longtime partner, Masha, been the right move. Could they truly bring justice back to the force that had been corrupted in so many ways? Only time would tell. His thoughts wandered back to that fateful case. They'd been on the fast track to becoming top detectives in the agency. Loved by the puppet, loved by the co Loved by the boss. It was all just a front for the shit show of a precinct that was held up by toothpicks and paper mache. It was their biggest bust yet, one made for the history books. After months of tracking, planning, and letting lesser street thugs go free for the smallest bit of information and dead ends, they'd finally found the mother load. An absolute metric fuck ton of Heidi and Mind Freak. Not only would this bus be huge enough to make them legends at the precinct for years to come, it would save countless lives in Sector 8. But McGinley, the fucking captain, had gone and screwed it all up. He'd been skimming off the top all along, I'd bet. But when the evidence had been checked in, Masher and I knew it didn't all add up. Millions is any missing, gallons of the shit street drug absent. When they'd approached him about it, when they had tried to do the right thing, it wasn't another award party. It was an execution. Quicker than a turbo car, then they were back on the streets with little more than a cardboard box and some desk trinkets. They'd have to rebuild it all again, bit by bit, and take on that juggernaut. They called themselves Justice. It all started here, in a rundown sector, in a rundown building. They would make it back to the top and set things right. The sign outside swayed. The words. <laughs> Bangers and mash, it blazoned into the wood. And so this is, you know, this is Bangers' perspective on that. And I love that it's like ever so slightly different. Like, you know, you kind of, you know, you, you just reading it automatically, like you could, you could feel the jokes piling up here. And like, I, I just every time I fucking see Bangers and mash, I'm like, oh god, it's awful. It's so awful, but it's so good. And then we actually have another character uh, called Putin, and I don't know if uh, Putin, I believe, is Andrea or who used to be Queen. Um, I don't know if she's going to actually role play, but she has an interesting character. I actually really like her character, and I I hope she shows up um, because it's it's just great. I hope there's more of these characters. I hope there's a whole. We should like set up a whole separate part of the forums for DBI Noir. <laughs> All right, but here's uh, here's Putin's contribution. Uh, Poutine had always been interested in life. Life starts from nothing, grows, changes, and then becomes nothing once more. But sometimes that nothing comes too early, too early. Her fascination with life eventually led to study why life ends before it should. That's when she got involved with the police and investigators, crazy wild card investigators. But they ask some of the craziest, most bizarre questions and bring the most fascinating cases. When the bodies first started to come in, brains fried and bodies wasted, it looked like an outbreak of any number of galactic diseases, Namekian rabies, the ice of flu. She even considered Thracian super gonorrhea. <laughs> it wasn't until the planetary MA and police captain McGinley claimed natural causes, because it is a natural cause to die with a brain that combusts, that Dr. Poutine started to think more was going on here. Three cycles later, out blowing some steam at D8 Infinity, the hot new club that opened, Poutine was offered something that would blow your mind. High in mind freak was new. It was edgy. It was... She couldn't remember. 
Something went wrong, terribly wrong. Everyone at the club, no one made it out. She, Masha, how did she get home? The coroner's reports were as expected and as false as she knew they would be. Dr. Latke, Latke said she was just under too much stress. That this was a matter that the head in me should handle. The good guys sometimes get crushed under the weight of corruption. Good guys never make it very far, but sometimes. If you look real hard, smothered under corruption, like a thick gravy, a dangerous saying, and a grizzled demon can make a difference. And maybe I can too. And uh, that's my sudden bell voice. But uh, yeah, uh, so like, I like this. They have, and her title, uh, I feel like her title actually tells you more about like her role in all this. You, you get glimpses of it. Um, but uh, I like... The plucky medical examiner is her is her title. Like it's just it's so fucking good, guys. It is so good. It's hilarious and I don't know. It's just great. It's just really good. Um, this is kind of like episode one. Like really, that that's a whole role play in and of itself, and it's told in a really cool way. And it's told between multiple characters, and uh, I I think it constitutes a log. I think it's worth a video. This is already eleven minutes long. Um, so, welcome to DBI Noir, and we'll see you, see you on the chat channel.